Family is uh, perhaps one of the most important aspects of my life. Being a father to me is something I never thought I would actually be, but actually to become a dad, to have that responsibility, just to be able to influence someone else's life is just an incredible experience, it's a privilege. When I look back to my early teenage years, I uh, didn't know what the future held. I, I just assumed that I, I, I wouldn't achieve much. And the thought of not being able to do those normal things, like get a job or have a family, I, I think I just felt robbed. The first 11 years of my life was, was wonderful. I, I never had a day of sickness. At the age of 11, I, I took this uh, chronic uh, diarrhea and abdominal pain, uh, and my life just uh, crashed. It wasn't just an abdominal problem because then my, my chest began to uh, have infections uh, and I was having recurring ear infections as well. Yeah. And again, the doctor would just write another prescription and he would hand it over to my parents uh, with the usual words that this was uh, something I would either grow out of or that it was something I was making up for attention. I had no self-esteem. I, I hated myself. I, I, I didn't feel I had any value, I had nothing to contribute. And uh, I guess at times the easiest option was to want to curl up in a ball and die. Two years after I started experiencing these symptoms, the doctor uh, gave me a name, hypogamma globulin anemia. I started treatment within a few months. It involved intramuscular immunoglobulins and it involved two injections every week. Uh, this stuff was really thick, and in terms of mobility afterwards, uh, the, the pain was uh, intense, uh, and I wasn't able to walk for about an hour and a half after. I think the turning point in, in my life was I found that they were going to, to change the treatment uh, from intramuscular to intravenous. For a period of time, my health improved and after two years absence of school I was able to return again. One day someone suggested that I saw an immunologist which was a major turning point in my life. He actually sat down and told me what I had, what, what effect it would have on my life and what future uh, treatment plans would involve. It wasn't just hypogammaglobulin anemia or the recurring ear infections, but common variable immune deficiency, CVID. He explained that all the infections that I had experienced was a result of this immune deficiency and that the replacement therapy would help me to, to fight future infections. And then all of a sudden he mentions this wonderful thing as home therapy and that I would be able to, to do treatment at home no longer was my life based around my treatment, but my, my treatment plan was, was part of my, my life in that I was able to, to manage when I did that. I didn't have to take time off work. I was able to travel because up until that stage in my life, I wasn't able to travel because I was dependent on hospital visits and, and frequent injections. I've come a long way. I uh, have become a husband. I, I'm a father. I'm able to work full time as a pastor. For me, staying positive is actually about uh, seizing the day, seizing every opportunity. The disease is just part of who I am. Looking back, I spent long enough worrying and in those dark periods, and I just want to live life. And the majority of days, I don't even think about having a disease. It's just something I live with.